What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a quick review of the tour box and we're going to see if it makes your life easier when you're editing. Let's get into it. Full disclosure, tour box did send this unit to me to review. However, they are not impacting anything I'm saying. Uh, my opinions, there was no money exchanged. Uh, they are not seeing this video till it goes live at the exact same time you guys are. First things first, what is this device? Tourbox is this little unit that attaches to your computer, your laptop, and it makes your life way easier with these shortcuts set up between scroll wheels, clickable buttons, whatever you're wanting to do, it's basically putting command shortcuts inside this little box. Whether you're a video editor or a photographer and you edit your photos, this little unit is probably gonna make your life a lot easier. Now, I have not used this yet. I'm actually using this first time on this video to see if this will actually make my workflow faster or if it slows me up. So let's plug this little unit in the computer, load up the program and see where it takes us. So the first thing we gotta do is go to the Tourbox website. I will have links in the description below so you guys can download the software you're going to need, whether you're on Mac or PC, they have both on there. After we download that, it's gonna launch this little program up Make sure your unit is plugged in. We're just gonna skip all these tutorials and we're just gonna kinda go for it. Uh, you can see by hovering over them that each one of them shows what keyboard shortcut is already set up. I'm gonna keep saying keyboard shortcuts even though it's not a keyboard. In my brain, it's basically the same kind of thing. It's just another shortcut unit. Up in the top, you can click load in custom presets or you can actually click on the get more presets and it's gonna take you to their website. And here, there's an abundance of different programs that is set up and ready to go. Of course, this will work with other softwares, but this is all the ones that people have already made. They've already done shortcuts. If I click on the DaVinci Resolve one, you can see by scrolling down, there is already a bunch made by other creators that have done DaVinci Resolve. Is it gonna be ideal and perfect setup for what I need? Probably not, but it most likely will get us in the ballpark. So we're gonna download this first one right here by Joseph. Let's download that, load it into the Tourbox software, and we will go from there. So we're gonna hit import preset. I'm going to find it on my desktop. I'm just gonna name it R1. I can scroll on top of these and I can see the shortcuts he already had set up. Am I gonna change some of these? Yeah, most likely. But again, it's just getting us in that ballpark of some of these shortcuts and what this little unit can do. Now, one important thing you need to make sure you do is you need to make sure you link this to DaVinci Resolve or to your software, whatever you're using. So we need to go in here, click link, and you can see DaVinci Resolve is right there. We're gonna click that, hit okay, and now it is linked to the software of DaVinci Resolve. Otherwise, you're not gonna see anything. When you're in there, you're just gonna be scrolling it, nothing's gonna happen. So normally, I would have a bunch of clips laid out uh, in a row, uh, and maybe my timeline is very long, especially when I do tutorials, it's very long. Well, the shortcuts that I have set up for this tour box is this one, this little scroll wheel. If I move it, it zooms in, which I am digging. That's dope, okay. And then let's say, uh, Let's say I delete one of these right here and I don't want to actually delete that. This side one is set up to undo. So that's pretty cool. So this up button right here is copy. So let's copy that one and let's, uh, let's paste it. Cool. You can just keep pasting as many as you want. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's undo those. We don't need that many. And then let's see, what does this do? Okay, this scroll wheel actually goes through my timeline, so I actually don't have to move the mouse. I still think the mouse is probably faster, but that is cool, so if you need to fine tune some things, like right there, if we click this big scroll wheel in, you can see it starts playing on its own. That's pretty cool. I can zoom in, zoom out. Let's see if I start dragging it back. Okay, so it will keep playing unless I click it again. That's cool, okay. Something that I find really handy is pasting attributes. So let's say this one, I don't want these massive letter boxes. So let's just zoom that bad boy in. I think that looks good. Uh, and I want to paste it to the rest of these. Normally I would right click, uh, copy or command C, and then I'd highlight all these and I'd right click and I would 
uh, paste attributes. But with this tour box set up, we can just click on this one. We can see right here, copy is up. We're gonna copy it. I'm gonna highlight all of these and we're gonna hit right and that's gonna paste attributes. And in here, we can pick whatever we want uh, to be pasted. And normally I will do this the first time and then it will just apply the all of them. So now it actually fills the entire screen. That's cool, digging that. Again, I would probably go through and change some of these shortcuts to make my workflow faster. Is this slowing me up right out of the gate? Well, yeah, a little bit because I didn't really spend the time to start diving into the software and fix it the way that I wanted to do. Overall, I am thoroughly impressed with this Toolbox unit. I think it's a solid piece of tech that will help you out, especially if you're someone that does long video editing sessions or you do a lot of photo edits, especially when you get it set up for your workflow. Do you need to pick one up? Well, that's completely up to you. Overall, the build quality, the clickable buttons, everything seems pretty rock solid. The thing's got some weight to it when you pick it up. Overall, I've been really happy with it. Again, I've only been playing with it for a little bit of time and I really need to set it up for my workflow to make my life easier. I will have links in the description below. Uh, thank you so much, Toolbox, for sending this unit out for me to review. I'm looking forward to diving more into this and giving you guys a, you know, so many months review and see how I'm still liking it then. If that's something you guys would like to see, please drop in the comments below. If there's something specific you're wanting to see me do with this unit, again, drop in the comments below. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing, ringing the bell, do all the things. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. See you next time. Peace.